even use the sh a small uncharred Shadow Ball as a bait. Sure. And I know uh, Bla Blazing Pasta said to me that Ness does not like the down tilt of Mewtwo and the range that he has yeah. above Ness. Because Ness's approach options are pretty linear. Yeah, good pivot there. Got some good damage from the forward air. I like that he shielded all of the Nair. One of the biggest mistakes people make against Mewtwo is they drop shield against Nair. But it has so many active frames. You just you have to hold that shield until you know the move's done. Yeah. Ooh, trying to get that patented Great Gonzalez PK Thunder combo. He loves going for those. Oh, he's getting a lot of mileage off of Blue picking oh, defensive time. options. Okay, Blue says, uh, get away from my ledge. Toss out that up there. Yeah, Blue just kind of waiting for Great Gonzalez to overcommit. He gets the down tilt, but no follow-up. He has the stage position. Gonzalez is trying to inch his yeah. way back in there ever slowly. I like, I like what Blue's doing. Mm. Oh, never mind. I hate my words. Yeah, see, he baited that magnet, but it has very little end lag. You have to be very tight in order to punish that. Yep. Ooh. Wow, that oh, up air wow. from Ness. That big noggin. Oh, and that was very smart. He got that PK Thunder and went straight into the ground, so it would uh, create a tech read situation instead of him just being in helpless. Yep. Blue trying to get this edge guard. Oh, oh. that was so smart. And I th Blue should probably not have gone up there. A, a good uh, nice, nice player like Gonzalez is probably not going to try and go straight up knowing that he's just going to get spiked, so he bounces off the stage. And uh, that's not a situation you really want to put yourself in. Yeah, that's one of the most Yeah, that's one of the most creative recoveries I have ever seen from a Ness main. That was incredibly good. Blue yeah. just overcommitting a little bit too much. I know he's very fond of spiking PK Thunders. He does it as Zard all the time. Yeah. But I think he was just a little bit too eager there, as you said. Yeah. Going to game two. Town and City. Not surprised. U2 is fond of killing off the off the top. Of course. Oh, Ness is throwing out some down tilts of his own. Ooh, trying to get that bat, but that's just going to have... He's going to be too close for that to not be punished. And he's getting a lot of mileage. Oh, yeah. He's been up airing him for centuries, looking like Cloud. Three, yeah, three times Gonzalez tried to land with an offensive option, and Blue just stuffed him out with that tail every time. Ooh, and another up air. He's yeah. been making so much mileage off of baiting air dodges and offensive options and just up airing him. Yep. This is the range problem Ness has. Wow. Oh. Amazing read, but I don't know if that was a, not a sour spot or just wasn't strong enough. Yeah, that's not quite going to do it. Ooh, definitely a creative recovery there for Gonzalez. He needed to do that. One up throw will kill. Yep, that's it. Town and City, that's gone. You're there with no rage. Yeah, and that's, and that's actually pretty interesting. If suddenly we see a complete 180 as to what happened. That Shadow Ball would have done a lot of damage oh, yeah. if it connected. I know uh, a lot of charge shot characters like using their charge shot at an incredibly close range against somebody who can absorb their projectile. Yeah, it's a good mix-up. He's waiting, they're waiting for you to commit to an option and just throw it out. Yep. Wow, that immediate fair. Very smart from Greg Gonzalez. Ooh. Almost getting that back or reading the roll, but... Oh, wow, it shielding good. it that time, but still no punish. Right. Oh, the down smash actually coming out. Baiting him to drop shield there, getting a down tilt to up air. Let's see what more he can get out of this. Ooh. Oh, he had the read, but he was facing the wrong way. Yeah, I don't think he was expecting Drake Gonzalez to go for a pivot grab there. Yep. Despite that, Blue is in a very comfortable position right Oh, now. yeah. All he needs is an up throw at this point. Actually, a multitude of options. I know he's fishing for that fair, so he doesn't have to commit to a grab, but either way, he's going to read that roll yeah. with a pivot grab. Blue is using his uh, the side B, the, the confusion, a lot, and I think it's because a lot of Ness is neutral. He has him in the air, maybe with a short hop mm -hmm. air, back air, whatever, and uh, that confusion is just going to go through all of it. Ness can't, Ness can't get past that. Yeah, and especially with the limited range of Ness, a lot of Ness is uh, either, if they're not going for the immediate dash attack to try and get a disjoin in, they're going to run up shield trying to bait an option. Yeah. And confusion beats that as well. Confusion looks like it's beating out a multitude of options. Blue adapting very well, but now Ness's best stage. Let's see if Greg Gonzalez could make this work in his favor. All right, Greg Gonzalez being a little more careful. But now we see uh, Blue using a, a different option that we didn't see so much last game, which is the Nair. Ooh. Trying to get those air dodge struggles again. again. 
Ooh, double bear. That's going to be a good chunk of damage. Oh, oh baiting nice. the shield there. This is fast aerials on shield. Definitely, you want to be careful about getting hit by any of those. So, smart job by Gonzalez. Yeah, puts him off stage. He knows he's probably not much of a down throw. Getting those quick little dash attacks. Ooh. Not neutral, that's so good. Yeah, Ness has a get off me option. Normally, characters are a little bit helpless when they're hit by that last hit in air. Ooh, that dash, that roll away. Okay. Right. Ooh, oh, wow. Up yep. Immediately going for it, not waiting for Blue to uh, have a very slick air dodge. Mewtwo with that amazing air mobility. I don't know how good. Uh, how potent it Ness is when he's trying to chase something like that. And Blue searching for at least some damage, trying to get a little bit of advantage, but suddenly, Great Gonzalez with a string. 25%. Yeah. Still sitting at a comfortable 86. He's not at quite at risk yet for the up throw, but with a little bit of rage, we'll be soon. Wow, he might laugh him here. Yeah, it looks like Great Gonzalez suddenly <laughs> doing another 180 adapt. Adaptation here. Yep. He says, "All right, Blue, I, I learned your tricks." Oh, oh no. wow! What a two frame. Now that was a very bizarre exchange of events because, yeah. uh, body, body to body. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's that's high level adaption right there, folks. Yeah, that was definitely very interesting. Good kudos to Great Gonzalez making it past Blue, and it looks like he's going to be in winners finals.